multi-line text. Let's take a look at some of the other text options that AutoCAD has to offer. First, I'll go ahead and put this back into view. The multi-line text command can be found at the same place as a single line text command. It can be found here in the annotation panel, right next to where single line text was, except this time you can select multi-line text. It can be found here in the annotate tab, in the text panel with multi-line text. Or we can come down to the command line and we can type M text and press enter. Now we've activated the multi-line text. As you can see, we have to specify the first corner point, which is very similar to the single line text, except this time we see an ABC. I'll go ahead and give it a first point. Now I can give the text box a width, which I couldn't do before, so I'll drag it all the way out to here. Specify that as the next corner point. Now I can go ahead and type. And you can also notice that with the multi-line text, you have all these additional options that you didn't have in the single text. So in this text editor tab, we have styles, formatting, paragraph justifications. We can insert all these symbols here. We can go ahead and even spell check. And there's even tools to import text, auto caps, find and replace. We pull down the formatting and we see there's more options here. We'll look at those a little bit later. Let's go ahead and type some text. Make sure we're clicked inside of the text field. And there we go. Now what happens if we continue to keep typing? I'll press the space bar and continue typing now. And I'll push enter, enter, and I'm still inside the text box. In order to exit out of this, we have to hit close and close. I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And now we'll notice when I select this text, it is one object, unlike the single line text. Every line was an object before. I'll go ahead and put this into view only. And you notice we have one, two, three grips. The left grip, which I just used, will allow you to move it around. The right grip here will be the column width. We can go ahead and expand this out, bring it in, and we get a little preview of it as well. I'll go ahead and put it there. This here will give you the column height. I can pull it down and I can pick it up. I'll leave it where it is. So as you can see, if you would like a big block of text that you'd want to keep as one object, you'll use the multi-line text tool. If you just want some quick notes, go ahead and use the single line text.